My name is Dan Clark. Uh, my wife and I have this commercial photography studio. We've been here for about, in this studio, for about 12 years. And we've been doing commercial photography in this area, the Bay Area, for about 25 years. I started uh, doing photography as a hobby when I was in junior high school. My parents would set up a darkroom in the uh, basement every year when we'd do the, like, the Christmas season greeting cards. Uh, I can still remember seeing that white paper turn into a real picture under the safe light. It was, it was magical, truly magical. My name is Miriam Mimi Weinberg. Dan and I both went to photography school and have degrees in photography and got sidetracked into doing multimedia shows in the 1980s. But the shows, the <laughs> that industry kind of collapsed and we went back to what we got our degrees in, which was commercial photography, studio photography. And we worked very, worked very well together in, in the company that we were working, both working at. And we just kind of became a good team. I would say my role here is kind of like a benevolent dictator in a way. Uh, I'm, I'm the instigator uh, for, for most things uh, in terms of deciding, you know, what types of business do we want to go after? How do we want to approach certain clients? Um, what kind of businesses are, are a, a better match for us and, and the team we have. There are four of us all together, actually five of us now all together. Um, so uh, I do most of the photography, so most of the photography part anyway starts with me and then it filters out to the rest of the team. Uh, and then I usually am looking over things before it goes out the door. So yeah, I. Uh, I can't do everything myself, and I don't want to do everything myself, but I would say I'm the one who, who, who kicks it off, starts it. My name is Raul Mayero. I am a, uh, a retoucher, like a photo retoucher. Um, I've been a part of this company for uh, since 1999. I wear a lot of hats. Um, when you're self-employed, don't do just one thing. So I do everything from accounting, bookkeeping, to a lot of um, retouching and color correction. And um, Dan does most of the shooting, but we, I work with him on shooting uh, when we have models, humans involved, not just products. And um, I will also, if we have surprise clients coming, run in and clean the bathroom. Do a lot of things. I think one of the things that's surprising about learning about photography as a business is it's it's not very glamorous. Uh, from the outside, I think it, it's one of those things that can look very glamorous, and from the inside, it's it's uh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of attention to detail. The amount of time that you actually spend photographing is is minuscule to the amount of time that you spend prepping for a job, trying to trying to get the job. Once you get the job, prepping for the job. Uh, and then all the post-production work, uh, explaining things to clients, understand, asking them lots of questions that ideally you're doing at the beginning. Um, yeah, it's, it's an, it's, I think this is probably true with lots of projects, but it's amazing how much work goes into something that people are going to look at for a very short period of time. But if anything's wrong with it, they'll notice it. Where if it, if it just looks good, people just go, oh, nice shot, and they move on to the next part. It's probably uh, the, the place I've actually liked working the most at because um, I'm actually doing what I went to school to do. Um, I'm using all those skills and I'm learning more as well. So um, I think like a small business where you're kind of forced to take on a lot of different roles, uh, you're forced to learn. Uh, a lot more than you would normally do if you were just specialized and just doing one thing. Like at a corporation, for example. Um, I worked at HP for a little bit when it was slow here. And it was, I was just doing one thing, and that's all I did was just one thing. And um, now that I'm back here, you know, I do many things. So, um, and I think I like that more. I think it gives me a little bit more control than it would otherwise. 
Uh huh. And I work right with the owner. So it's like, it's kind of like if I was at a corporation, it would take a long time before what I have to say went go to the CEO, probably weeks, months. <laughs> and here I can tell them the same day right away. So, yeah. The atmosphere that we maintain in the studio is um, almost family like. You know, I, we don't um, clock our employees when they come. We trust that whatever hours they say they work, they worked. Um, if they need time off or something, make sure it can happen. Um, try to be, I mean, now we've had, we have two employees, they've been with us for 20 years each. So Working here at Weinberg and Clark, I feel like that as well, like I'm being accepted into a family member. And I don't know if it's just photography or just art, you know, in general, but, you know, the feeling that the family feeling is, is, is one that I value a lot.